Today I'm updating you on all you need to know about Spring Hill's biggest new development, June Lake. And if you don't know who I am, I'm Brandon Johns. I'm a real estate agent here in Nashville and my partner Sam and I help families from all across the country find their home here in Middle Tennessee. And we simply make these videos to help answer all your questions about Nashville and the surrounding areas. So when you decide to move, just give us a call or send us a text. So today I'm going to lay out all the details about the June Lake development in Spring Hill. And I actually made a video about seven or eight months ago about June Lake and there was a few mistakes in there like the actual location of the I-65 interchange like which road it would be on but also what the interchange looked like so I wanted to clear that up in this video especially now that you know developments way underway and there's also updated plans to the public about this master development so first of all let's jump on the map to break down everything about June Lake so here we are on Google Maps and let's zoom on into Spring Hill now the June Lake development is going to be in this whole section right here, okay? So this is all going to be June Lake, June Lake 775 acres. And what I wanna talk about right now is kind of the location of what's around June Lake, why there's traffic issues right now, how the interchange will solve that. So if you look, you'll see Summit High School is right here, Spring Station Middle School is right here. And then essentially surrounding June Lake right now is homes, 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 homes and more homes. So plenty of homes, just neighborhoods all surrounding um, Buckner Lane, which is this road right here that comes straight down. So you can see this is Buckner Lane that just goes in from all these neighborhoods, connects to the schools, and then will eventually be right here at June Lake. So the issue here is you've got all these neighborhoods connected to Buckner Lane, and that's their way out to get onto I-65 to travel downtown, to commute to work, Cool Springs, wherever they're going, but then also kids trying to get to school. So it's really bad when school's in, everyone's trying to get to school, but then also people are trying to get to work. It's almost standstill on Buckner Lane, depending on the time um, that you're trying to go. So hopefully June Lake will help resolve this issue. Now I have a couple other videos on Spring Hill. So if this is your first time learning about the Spring Hill area, I've got a map tour, also a Spring Hill vlog tour. So it gives you more information about what's to offer in Spring Hill besides just June Lake development, breaks down neighborhoods. So there's tons of resources. We have a playlist on Spring Hill. So check that out. Those videos will be linked in the description below. Let's talk about this new interchange. So what's going to happen here is we've got Buckner Road right here which basically goes from Main Street, right here, Columbia Pike, as you can see, this is Main Street, and Buckner Road just comes right down here onto Buckner Lane, and Buckner Road, as you can see, also is just an, a way out for these neighborhoods that to either go to Main Street or to Buckner Lane. Now, what's going to happen is the June Lake Boulevard, which is going to be essentially an extension of Buckner Road right here, June Lake Boulevard is going to go straight right over here into I-65 interchange, okay? So that's how the extension is going to happen and that's where the location of the new exit to get onto I-65 is going to be. So as you can see on this image, you've got June Lake Boulevard coming straight out of Buckner Road and that's gonna to connect to the interchange, but then you also have Buckner Lane. So you can see in the top of this image, that's going to be like this reroute. So it's gonna be around that hill where there's trees up in the top corner and it's going to connect to Thompson Station Road. So on the other side, on the left side of Buckner Lane, that new reroute is going to be some residential, more residential area. But now let's take a look at what this interchange is going to look like. So this extension from June Lake Boulevard is going to look like this. Now this is a pretty fancy design. I'm not a symbol engineer. I don't know much about traffic, how it works, how to you know eliminate it, but this looks fancy, so I'm hoping, fingers are crossed, that this is going to make a huge impact on the traffic in Spring Hill. But that's what the interchange is going to look like. As you can see here, this is going to be an extension all the way to Lewisburg Pike as well. So I know it shows Buckner Road right here, but I'm assuming this is probably going to be this extension. It's gonna be called June Lake Boulevard all the way through. But that's what we've got here on this, these T-dot images of their plants. So now what exactly will the 775 acre June Lake development become? Well, June Lake is going to comprise over 2,900 residential units, 3.9 million square feet of class A office space, nearly 1.3 million square feet of retail and restaurant space, and over 400 hotel rooms. So it's going to be a massive development. And I wanna take a look at right now is this master development plan to kind of break down what areas 
Um, all these things will be in on the 775 acres. So taking a look at the master development plan, you've got the yellow areas, which is going to be purely residential. The orange areas are gonna be residential and mixed use. The red area is going to be commercial and retail. And then the blue area is gonna be commercial office space. And then you've got the pink area, which is going to be this flex space. And then the green is all going to be community green space. Also, the A, B, and C, there's two different home builders right now currently with June Lake. It's Signature Homes and Tudor Building Group. A, B, C is Signature Homes. And then the H area right down here is Tudor, which I'll touch on. They've already broken ground. There's about 28 of them, so I'll touch on that in just a second. But what I want to point out before we go on to what's actually breaking ground right now is look at all this green space. I really love how um, the Southeast Venture, those are the people that are building this entire development. I love how they really are integrating this greenway. They're putting a greenway of sidewalk basically right next to the creek. It's around the lake. They're keeping that. They're even keeping over in this A area, um, this hilltop with nice green space. So I really like how they're incorporating the green space and not just making this massive concrete development. Now, like I said, Tudor Building Group, they've already broken ground. They're working on their 28 first single family homes here in June Lake. And there's going to be eight that are available in the summer of this year, 2023. So if you're interested in potentially one of these homes or just potentially moving into June Lake um, in the future, you're gonna wanna stay notified. So what we actually have built out is uh, email newsletter. So it's just a free newsletter that you can subscribe. Just It's linked in the description below. And we'll just keep you updated on new homes, new developments inside, breaking ground, just all the important updates on June Lake. So if you wanna know about June Lake, right in your inbox um, for free, just subscribe down below. And then also, you know, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, we'll be making updated videos as well, just like this one. The next exciting development inside June Lake is Solstice, which is a 227 unit apartment complex. And that's going to be in the D quadrant on the map. It's going to be one bedroom, two bedroom, and three bedroom apartments. You're going to have upscale amenities here. You've got a clubhouse, a dog park, playground, luxury pool, fitness facility, and you're gonna have premium garage parking as well, all in the solstice of development. And this is actually going to start leasing the first phase of it in fourth quarter of this year in 2023. So moving along very quickly here with this June Lake development. Now something else is the grocery store. The grocery store inside of June Lake is going to be High V. Now High V is out of Iowa but this is actually their first store here in Tennessee. And the reason I point that out is for a company to come into its first location inside of Tennessee, into a development like this in Spring Hill, it just goes to show that companies and people, they're betting big on Spring Hill's growth. I, we've seen massive growth over the years, but this just reaffirms you know, what people are seeing and the economical impact this is going to have for Spring Hill for now and for the future. As you can see, June Lake is going to be a massive development for Spring Hill, it'll hopefully alleviate some traffic, provide some more living options, has some more green space, and just help build out that community feel. But I think it's really exciting because it's the first master plan community for Spring Hill. And we've seen two of these that are very successful in Franklin, which is West Haven and Berry Farm. Now, West Haven also has a golf course, but it's a community that so many people want to be inside of. It's a similar thing. It's got retail, it's got commercial space, it's got the grocery store, it's all walking distance. It even has a lake as well. And then Berry Farm is a similar thing. It doesn't have a golf course, but it's also that grocery store. Kind of everything is walking distance um, for you inside this community. So it's really exciting that this is coming to Spring Hill and that's what June Lake is going to become. So I hope this video was helpful and giving you an update on June Lake, clearing up a few things that you might've seen in the other video. Now we know exactly where the interchange is going to be, how it's going to impact the roads, and I wanted to make sure that I updated you on this video. Now, like I said, I'm going to be posting updated videos on June Lake, but also other developments in the Spring Hill area, but also Nashville and the other surrounding areas. So if you wanna stay in the know on Nashville and the surrounding areas, make sure you subscribe. But also, like I said, we have a specific email newsletter on all things June Lake. So if you're interested in moving to June Lake or just wanna stay in the know on June Lake and all things going on, make sure you subscribe to our newsletter. It'll be linked in the description below. The newsletter is completely free and also this channel, everything that we do here is to help provide you as much information and answer all your questions about Nashville and the surrounding areas. And like I said, I'm Brandon Johns, my partner Sam and I, we help families from all across the country relocate here. So 
When you decide to make the move, we would love to be your real estate resource of choice. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.